It's been more than 24 hours since this happened, and you can see this bus still lodged in this building. When you look through the bus's windows, you can see the lights on inside the building. The city says they don't want to move it because they need to figure out if there's structural damage. Tonight, the 25 people who are inside the bus at the time are just thankful to be okay. This is a really special place. A place now in need of repair. We just hear like a loud horn honking and then a crash. Spirit Misco was in the building last night. Had about 20 to 30 youth in there. The nonprofit Skate Like a Girl was hosting its regular session when a bus came barreling in. Well, I heard the wall cracking and I was confused because we were just inside skateboarding and then I saw a bus appear. Cameras were rolling. It was shocking. It was, the bus kind of, killed our sesh. It could have been worse than this, I feel like. In the daylight, people are slowing down to see the damage. Amazing. Marlene Poling. That is some pure stunt driving. Can hardly I, believe it. I don't know what happened. We were just trying to figure it out. Figure out how the driver narrowly missed the pole and avoided any injuries. No injuries, thank God. They got everybody off the bus. And everyone safely out of the building. That driver deserves a medal. He deserves a real Metal. After a surreal night, a nonprofit is facing an uncertain future. We could see the people in the bus through the glass looking at us. We were just kind of looking at each other like what just happened. Skate Like a Girl relies on this space. The building has been yellow tagged so nobody can go in or out. But now with a bus in the building, their programs are on pause. For now, we see this as an obstacle that we will definitely get over. We will rebuild. Our community is really strong and we show up for each other. Metro says the bus was reportedly cut off by another driver who made a left turn in front of the bus, causing the bus driver to swerve into the building. That's the preliminary information. The investigation into the crash continues tonight. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.